DCC, or Digital Command Control, has revolutionized the way we operate our model trains. For the beginner, it's as simple as a transformer, track, and a train. For the intermediate modeler with a mid-size layout who likes to run a lot of trains, it has virtually eliminated the tangles of wiring associated with block wiring. And for the advanced modeler, or club, there's DCC systems capable of operating signals, sound, turnouts, and a multitude of other tasks. This system, like most DCC systems, is comprised of three parts, a power supply, a command station, and a handheld throttle, or cab. You enter the commands at the cab. The command station sends an encoded message that only your locomotive can read. By programming locomotives with different addresses, you can control two, three, five, ten locomotives at the same time from the same controller and run them at different speeds on the same track. DCC systems typically have outputs for a programming track and a main track. These two locomotives came from the manufacturer with the decoder installed. I am going to program them so that their address is the locomotive number. In the case of the blue locomotive, 854, and the red locomotive, 709. I'll use my test track as the program track. On this system, I select LOCO for the program track, enter, punch in the locomotive number I'd like to have as its address, 854, enter. This system is capable of adjusting the output voltage at start, top speed, and a number of other functions. Now let's move this system to the layout. A digital command control system's ability to control multiple locomotives independently on the same track makes your layout much more versatile. That, combined with the elimination of most of the traditional system wiring, makes DCC a great choice for your layout.